He is a real-life Cyberman, a scientist with an implanted computer chip. A tiny lump is all that gives it away. A wave of his digitally enhanced hand and security doors magically open. Only he can operate his phone, and only if he holds it in the hand fitted with a chip. But now Dr. Mark Gasson is suffering a very 21st century malady. The first human to be infected with a computer virus. When the systems read my tags, the computer virus has actually appeared throughout the whole database. So it's actually replicated itself and copied it throughout the database. So any of these people that are using their swipe cards to access the building, the actual virus will be copied onto their card. The cybernetics expert at the University of Reading had the chip implanted in a minor operation. In future, your medical records could be stored like this, but the chips are vulnerable. This is just like the chip that's implanted in Dr. Gasson's hand. It's called an RFID, a tag that's been used for many years to track goods around the world. But these days they're far more powerful and they're being used in more and more applications. They're like mini computers and just like a computer, they're vulnerable to viruses. Already, many implanted medical devices like heart pacemakers have onboard computers that communicate with doctors. If they're corrupted by a virus, the consequences for patients could be fatal. And in future, chips will be used even more widely, perhaps even as memory upgrades for the brain. They too could be scrambled by malicious computer code. These type of devices are going to have to start to use secure encrypted communication. Um, the medical devices really should have some sort of password protection as well. I mean, it's very basic um, security proportions, which surprisingly these devices don't have at the moment. Our bodies have been fighting biological viruses for millions of years, but as man and machine merge, so computer viruses could prove a new threat to human health. Thomas Moore, Sky News.